Hey everyone, welcome back to another video of Salesforce Makes Sense. This is Iman Shu and we are looking at use case 17 of our Apex Masterclass. Write a method to find minimum number and maximum number from a list. Very straightforward question. You'll be given a list of numbers. Find the number which is the lowest and find the number which is the highest and return both of them as the result. Alright. For those of you who are confident enough to get this started and do it on your own, please pause the video here and try it and let's see how it goes and let me know. And for those of you who want to follow along, I hope you are writing the code line by line just like I am doing here and not, you are not just looking at it, you are actually working with it. Okay, so I'll just go ahead and create a new Apex class and I'll call it Apex Use Case 17. And I'm going to create a new method that's called public static void find min and max right what is it going to accept it is going to accept a list of numbers so this is going to be a list of integers right so this would be my list of numbers now what is it going to return it is actually going to return a list of integer where it will contain two things first number would be the minimum number and the second number would be the max number all right so i'll call it min and max list and i'll just say new list of integer and i'll just initial define it okay now what do i need to do i basically need to again iterate over my list see whenever there's a collection you have to iterate over it right as simple as that so the for loop becomes imminent or actually relevant or you know evident right so you need to write a for loop and basically you can iterate over it so how will you iterate over the numbers so i'll say for each integer or each num in list of numbers this is my advanced for loop i can write it like this correct so if this particular list contains let's say 0 5 0 5 65 799 and 8 it should basically be iterating here for each element right now here is where i need to define and understand and figure out who is the minimum number out of the lot and what what is the maximum number out of the lot okay so i'll define two variables i'll call it integer min number and integer max number all right i've just defined two numbers basically and i'll use these two numbers to manipulate the list and understand which is the minimum value and which is the maximum value okay now let's focus on the minimum number okay so i'll say if each num so i'll say if each num ideally this should not be equal to zero because if i set it as zero it will be the each num let, let me talk you through what i was thinking here and that's why i just talked out loud see what am i trying to do i am basically trying to tell the system if i find any number in the loop which is smaller than min number i will replace min numbers value with it right and similarly i'll do for the max number if i find any number in the loop which is bigger than my max number right i'll replace the max number value with it that's what i'm trying to do now if i start with the max number okay max number is initialized as zero right i'll just go ahead and say if each num is greater than max number or let's say greater than or equal to right if it is greater than or equal to i'll simply say max number should be equal to each number each num why because that means my current maximum max number is smaller than each num which is in the list right so i'm replacing it here all right and finally what i can do is i can i can use this list min and max list dot add i can add the max number here and similarly i'll add the min number here right and i'll finally return this particular min and max list so my return type should also be list of integer because i need to return the two numbers in it all right so max number is sorted this will work all right 
now similarly what i want to do is i want to write one more if condition for the min number so i'll say if each num is less than min number if it is smaller in that case my min number should be replaced by whatever is in the each, each num variable make sense see logically it makes sense right so if my current holding of the each num is lesser than min number right so min number should be replaced with whatever i got right now so it will start with zero it will say okay zero is less than zero false let it be zero only okay it will go to five is five less than zero no it will stay zero only is 65 less than zero no is 799 less than zero no is eight less than zero no so min number will stay zero which is fine but let's assume that you don't have a number called zero in your iteration you have seven five sixty five and all of this now what will happen min number will always be zero and zero is smaller than all of these numbers but then your final result will basically be zero in the min number is that true no the smallest number should be five make sense which is why this declaration will not work so you can initialize it to zero but what you have to do is you will have to simply say min number is equal to each num and you want to basically do this for the very first time only okay you want to do this for the very first time all right now how do you ensure that you do it for the very first time and why not every time see every time that you are on a on an iteration min number will be assigned the each num value so it will basically be 7 first then it will be 5 then it will be 65 and so on so when it is 7 it is basically comparing whether 7 is greater than or equal to 7 so it will always be true which is why you only need to do this initialization or more like a you know this thing once so if you want to do this once don't keep it in the loop okay keep it outside the loop so for now i'll simply instead of initializing it to zero i'll simply initialize it with the first numbers of the list so now min number is seven make sense okay now is if each num is less than min number is seven less than min number no so it will not go inside is five less than min number yes so min number will become five here okay then 65 is 5 less than 65 no it will not go inside and so on so finally you will get the number 5 as the result and that's why this particular initialization works compared to initializing it to 0 did that make sense if it did not make sense if i was a too if i if i was a bit fast for you pause the video here go back to the start of the video listen to it one more time and it will be clear okay One more check that we can put here is if list of numbers dot size is greater than zero, meaning some list has come to us or else it might be wrong, right? So I'll just do all of this only if I have re received a list of integers or else I'll return a null empty list, basically not a null list, an empty list. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and try to deploy it and let's hope that this works as expected all right let's go to the browser and let's go ahead and say apex use case 17 and the method is find min and max and this time i need a list variable right so i'll say list of integer my list var is equal to new list of integer and i just want to give it a set of values let's say so i'll say five seven nine two three one okay and now i'll say find min and max and take this list variable as the method input let's say execute and let's see what happens so what should be the minimum number and maximum number let's take a look so you see nine and one what did i give here i gave nine as the highest and one is the smallest so it's working as expected awesome right so that was our use case 17 one more thing that you could do here is you can actually initialize both your max number and min number with the first value. What that will do, that will ensure that you're not stuck to zero, meaning you might have numbers below zero also, above zero also, right? So it's always better to be relative. So I'll just take this particular list of numbers and initialize both the min and max as the first number. That's it. And now whatever will happen will happen relative to the first number. So if seven is less than five, 
no so 7 will stay as the larger number i mean is 7 greater than 5 yes it will stay larger is 7 greater than 65 no it will go inside the loop and it will basically replace the maximum number as 65 then it will be for 79 and then it will be for 8 but 8 is smaller so it will not and it will return you 799 as the final result does that make sense hope you understood why we did these two initializations why we did this to not to zero but to something relevant and relative to the list and why did we not do it inside because then it would be on a loop and it would always contain the the zeroth element right awesome that was all from this particular use case i'll see you in the next one bye